All right, fourth video, I want to look at 47 and 49. Uh, directions for these two say rewrite the equation using natural logs. So we want to change this in a way where that there is a natural log in the equation instead of just e to the n equals 68. So I can do that pretty easily. I'm going to do that by rewriting this exponential equation in logarithmic form. So this is exponential and I want to write it in logarithmic. So I'm going to do that by <laughs> either you know that the base stays the base and then we move this way and come back or you can actually swoop it. Um, but this would turn into log base e. So the base of the exponent becomes the base of the log. So bases stay bases. And then we go away. So log base e of 68 equals n. Well, anytime we have a log with a base of an e, the easier or more accepted way to write that is using the natural log notation because that's what natural log means. It means a log with a base of e. And plus the directions are saying they want us to end there. So there you have it. There's a simplified or rewritten equation from number 47. 49 doesn't have an e in it, so it actually ends up looking a little differently, or different. So when I go to, when I go to answer this question, I'm not going to swoop it like I did before because I won't get I won't get log base e, I'm going to get log base 10. And the directions specifically say not to leave our final answer in terms of any kind of log with any kind of base. They say they want it in terms of natural logs only. So I don't want to swoop it and say log base 10 like I did here, log base e. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the natural log of both sides. Um, because what else am I going to do? So I've got natural log of 10 to the power of p on that side and the natural log of 41 on that side. Okay. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and apply the power property now and drop that p down to the front. So I have p times the natural log of 10 equals the natural log of 41. And then to get p by itself, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the natural log of 10 on the bottom of the right side, moving it from the top of the left side. So I end up with p equals the natural log of 41 over the natural log of 10. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, well, I didn't really do what the directions asked me to do. All I did was solve for p using natural logs. Um, so uh, while I have you here on this video, I'm going to real quick pull up the answer key with the worked out solutions and try to answer any clarifying question that I might have just caused to occur. Let's see here, 49. Okay, so in 49, the answer key simply just says log of 41, which means all they did was swoop it like we did in 47. So you swoop it and you say, all right, this is log base 10 of 41 equals P. Log base 10, you can just say is log because that's all log is. Okay, so I'm going to say, for the sake of our class, tomato, tomato. It's written in log form. It's written in natural log form. Both of these are going to be the same exact answer, same exact number. Technically, I like my answer better because it actually has natural log in it and followed the directions. Um, but 49 was set up so that it would be written with a log because the base of that exponent was 10. So it wasn't meant to be a confusing or complicated question. It was. I would almost say it's like a typo, or the direction should have been changed for 49 to say rewrite it in log form instead of natural log form. So there you have it.